Welcome to a special edition of the Gridiron Report. I'm Jared Johnson. I'm joined by the mighty Joe Yeager. Obviously, we're here at the Jones. I uh, just got done with the, the open scrimmage. What was it? The uh, Fandemonium. And you can hear actually EZ in the background, him and Tyler Shucker throwing the ball around, uh, getting some extra work in. But uh, mighty Joe, I guess just what's your overall reaction to what we saw today? Yeah, it was, uh, you know, it was a little bit ragged yeah. is, is the way I'd put it. I mean, there were, there were some issues out there. But, but I got to say, you know, I mean, um, I'm not terribly concerned because, I mean, again, the eyeball test still works. I mean, you, these yeah. guys, there's a lot of athleticism. There's a lot of players on this team, you know. Yeah, and all over, not just all, the, yeah. at the receiver, sure, not sure, just, sure. you know, at linebacker, but all over, right? That's exactly right. And so uh, I can forgive uh, some of the mistakes that we saw, some of the penalties, uh, pass protection breakdowns. Uh, I mean, they had the offensive line struggle with the blitz today, and they blitzed a lot. Yeah. Uh, so you got that going on. Uh, the ground game really didn't get too much going, to be perfectly honest. I'm guessing the longest run of the day was probably not much more than 10 yards. Right. You know, and so so there there were some things that you can point to and poke at and say, eh, uh, there's there's some issues here. But I've still got confidence uh, that this team is uh, is uh, has got the talent uh, to to do some damage this year. You know, I, for me, it confirmed, like, yeah, it was sloppy. I mean, there's no doubt, right? I mean, but it did confirm some things. Like, we know, like, we felt pretty good about Tyler Shuck coming into it. We know what easy he could do, but he looks even better than he did last year. I mean, he looks ready to go. Um, Dawson Deaton, the interior of the offensive line looked good. I felt like on the edge, with T.J. Stormont being held out as a precaution, you could tell the difference with, with and without T.J. Stormont in there. So that was huge. I thought young Caleb Rogers actually did a really good job on a couple of those blitz pickups. Uh, but then the further we went down the depth chart on the offensive line, the more the defense dominated. So when you say at least in the interior that there's a, it appears to be a lot more depth on defense right now. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, the, every progression you go down, the greater the disparity becomes. And by the time you get down to four string, yeah. uh, it's like Swiss cheese offensive line uh, versus the Lions going after the Christians in the backfield. And so, <laughs> so wow. to mix a few. I wasn't scores. expecting uh, to hear that today, but all right. Yeah, but uh, so uh, the heat's getting to me a little bit, you know. Uh, but yeah, so I, I think that's absolutely right. Uh, I would say that I feel probably quite a bit better about defensive depth right now than I do offensive depth. Great. And then uh, you know, the kicking game looked pretty good overall, I felt like. Have some options in, in the return game that are interesting that uh, Kyron Cumby is, is interesting. Um, McLean Mannix, Miles Price, too, he had a big return. So I, I feel really good about all three phases of the game. I, I just, to me, there's two things that became really apparent. Um, one, Stormont and Dawson Deaton have to stay healthy, right? True. And number two is that, man, these young guys that we thought were really talented, these freshmen that, that uh, Tech brought in, the Baron Mortons, the uh, Cameron Valdez, they're legit. Yeah. Valdez broke a pretty long uh, run. I think it was actually a pass and catch. Uh, and then Baron Morton really showed what an athlete he is uh, from the quarterback position of, of <clears throat> evading the rush. He, he also actually had like a 12-yard uh, touchdown. I think I just swallowed a fly that we saw. <laughs> <laughs> Got me. So this could be on the bloopers reel. But, uh, no, I mean, Baron Morton with that 12-yard touchdown run, that dive and stretch for the uh, pylon was uh, really impressive. Yeah, and, and Mason Tharp was another one. Yes, uh, the young guys. Yes, I'm glad you said that. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, the, the, with Baron, the thing about him is he, he's clearly your most mobile quarterback right now. He is an athletic guy. Uh, a lot of quickness, some straight line speed. He can get up the field, put yeah. a toe in the turf. Uh, but the thing is, you know, he's a young quarterback, yeah. and young quarterbacks are often impatient. You got uh, when 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 you're young, maybe you don't give the play a chance, and maybe you break the pocket. Even when you you don't realize you actually have a pretty good pocket there, you sprint out, and then that kind of blows the play up. So it's kind of a feast and famine deal with with Baron Morton right now. That's exactly what I would expect for somebody who's so young. Uh, you compare him with a Tyler Shuck who right. is a veteran player who stays in that pocket. You know, he doesn't, I mean, he, he's capable uh, of getting outside, but he does a really good job of just sitting in there uh, and trusting his offensive line and delivering the rock. So that's that's just a, uh, an experienced differential right there. All right, let's cut to the chase. Are you still drinking Kool-Aid after seeing the scrimmage or not? Yes, I am. Me too. So we're still feeling confident. We still like what, uh, what we're seeing from this team. And just a couple of weeks from the season kickoff now. So Mighty Joe, great stuff from you as always. Thank you all for watching and until next time.